loads this gear train and it pushes it in the opposite direction. And because of the way these gears are cut, the gear is going to want to walk forward or backward. Well, what I ended up finding on this transmission that was really um, out of spec, in fact, was the thrust of the entire gear train. And we, we checked that by using a dial indicator on the input shaft. And what we're looking for is thrust or end play. Um, this particular unit has about um, 30 thousandths or better of end play which is not good and in fact that is the thrust that's enough thrust when the drivetrain unloads from engine torque to being um, torqued by the the rear end of the drivetrain itself to thrust these gears back and forth as you can see and that would be enough to knock it out of gear especially when you have a little bit of, um, of a non-positive feel on this. So I believe that taking care of this problem here would probably help it. But I think mostly getting rid of all this end play is going to be the real uh, solution to this. And that's done by shimming the front bearing. The input shaft bearing inside of here I have a new one here just to just to demonstrate we're going to install a shim in here and um, the correct shim and you should really have almost no end play in fact I have the same transmission down here that I used to compare it with and the customer had brought me this transmission this was the one that was in the car originally and this has no end play that I can feel at all so I'm confident that when the end play is dealt with, the problem will be dealt with.